We are the education foundation for the St. Vrain Valley, and we run further together. Hey everyone, Josh Atherton here from the Education Foundation for the St. Brain Valley. Before we get to our next guest, just want to remind everyone to go to sunrisestampede.org and sign up for our virtual Sunrise Stampede 2 mile or 10K run or walk. All proceeds from this event go to support special needs in St. Brain Valley schools. Uh, deadline is tomorrow, Wednesday at noon to sign up and the race will go from August 6th through August 8th when you go out do your run or your walk. Uh, when you get done, record those results and you can upload to our website. We will email everyone instructions on how to do that. Really encourage everyone to use a running app. My favorite is Map My Run. Uh, do it. It's fun. It's easy. Do it with some friends. Do it with some family. And let's raise some money on behalf of our special needs students in St. Frame. Thank you. Welcome everyone. My name is Josh Atherton. I'm the Executive Director of the Education Foundation for the St. Frame Valley. Really excited about today's guest for the Sunrise Stampede. I want to welcome in Chris McVeigh with High Plains Bank. Hey Chris, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic. I, I'm really glad you're taking a few minutes out of your day to uh, chat with me and to talk about Sunrise Stampede. Um, just to start off real quick, tell me, and the folks who are watching this video, tell me a little bit about High Plains Bank. Um, I know you guys are a community bank. You're headquartered here in Longmont. Uh, John Creighton is the CEO and president. He's also on our board as well and a great advocate for the community. Give me a little background about what High Plains Bank does in Longmont and the surrounding community. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So as you said, we, uh, we opened our doors uh, a, a, about seven years ago, a little over seven years ago. And um, at the time we saw through consolidations of other banks, we really saw an opportunity um, to kind of bring a true community bank, you know, back into Longmont. Um, and, and with that sort of community spirit, really, you know, trying to do things, we, we think first and foremost about our community. And when we're looking at um, new products, new services, new opportunities, we think to ourselves, how is this going to impact the community in a positive way? And that's really been our, our guiding light. So, you know, we, we are, we're a full service bank. We do uh, consumer loans, we do business loans, we do mortgages. Um, we do all the things that you would expect from a bank, um, but we're really looking after, the, you know, the needs of our community first. Um, and so that's what's really important to us. And I think that's what differentiates ourselves. You know, we, we, we are family and employee owned. Um, all of our employees are um, shareholders um, in one form or another in the bank. I also think that that makes us unique um, in that when you come into the bank um, and you're working with a, you know, a customer service representative, I mean, they have some ownership in this bank as well. And, and I think it just differentiates us, um, you know, from, from those that are out there. But um, yeah, that's a little bit about who we are and, and kind of what we do. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but I like to say a bank is a bank um, and it really matters the people that you have and, um, and, and kind of the things that a bank is doing for the community. And that's, uh, that's kind of who we are and what we're about. Well, I want to thank you and John and Michelle and all the employees at High Plains Bank for being a great local business and community uh, partner for a lot of nonprofits. Uh, but especially with St. Brain Valley Schools and with the Education Foundation. Uh, we greatly uh, appreciate your support. And especially with the Sunrise Stampede being a two-mile, 10K uh, walk uh, run, um, your bank has some history with this event, right? We do, yeah. So I think it was 2013, we were approached uh, by the Sunrise Lions Club, um, who had kind of started this um, race uh, years ago uh, about kind of the continuity of it and trying to to continue on and, and sort of shepherding this uh, this race kind of onto the next generation. And so uh, for several years, we actually kind of had and were sort of the organizers of the race and then um, have successfully, you know, transferred that, uh, you know, stewardship of the race onto the Education Foundation. But yeah, we saw this as one of the longest running community events um, and the impact that it's had over the years, really, you know, focusing on youth and, and giving back to youth in our community through a number of different things and, and most recently through um, you know those with special needs it was something that we again wanted to see continue we wanted to see um, it, it you know appealing to an, uh, you know the next generation so yeah so um, as you said we, we kind of we took it on for a couple of years and um, we've since been a, a proud you know sponsor of the race and hope to see it uh, going on in the future 
Well, again, we thank you for everything you all have done. Um, and I just want to remind people who are watching uh, this video, uh, this video is going to actually air on Tuesday, and the deadline for uh, registering for the race is tomorrow, Wednesday at noon. So we really hope that people go online to sunrisestampede.org. Um, $30 for a race registration. You can add $10 more for a t-shirt. And this is a virtual race, which means that between August 6th and August 8th, you can go on. Um, you can actually go out. You can run or walk your, your length of race, whether it's a two mile or 10K. Um, you know, do it with your family if you want to do it with friends. Uh, social uh, distancing is, is of course uh, required. Uh, but just make sure that um, you go out there and have a good time while you're doing it. And I would say uh, really uh, use our social media uh, hashtag Sunrise Stampede and uh, let's get some uh, some really good photos out there and some good stories and all the proceeds from this race go back to special needs in St. Bray Valley School District and really supporting uh, the teacher innovation grants really helping our special needs students who are um, a great part of our school district and we want to make sure that they have access to um, everything that they could possibly have access to and um, Chris you know one of my last questions I have for you is uh, tell me what's been going on the last uh, few months. We've had this little thing called COVID-19, um, a little pandemic going on that's really affected a lot of our, our businesses, but especially our small businesses. Give me a little uh, maybe uh, insight in what your bank's been going through and how you've been helping with uh, the small businesses. Yeah, yeah. Um, so early on, obviously, you know, we, we realized that this was going to have a, a pretty considerable impact um, on our community. And again, kind of thinking community first, we were really early on as to how can we help and provide some relief for some of our businesses. So um, really early on in the process, before we even really had the blessing of regulator support, um, we went to all of our, our businesses that we anticipated having some impact and, and essentially deferred their payments um, for three months to kind of help them get through this. And rather than them having to come and ask us, we basically reached out to them proactively and said, we, we know you guys may be struggling through this and we want to we want to be able to help out. Um, we've also um, created some uh, some programs uh, for folks within our community that may not be small businesses. So we have a rent assistance program um, that we've allowed for folks that are, are renting and potentially may have had an interruption in their their income um, and are potentially facing eviction. Um, we've created some some funding for that, um, and we've also created a few other sort of special products related to uh, to COVID. Um, again, knowing that you know we want to help out and do our part as a, as a community financial institution, and and that we can all get through this. Um, we, we know that you know eventually we are going to get through this, and these businesses are are going to be able to to rebound. Uh, but we wanted to be able to uh, to help them through this. So yeah, we're we're continuing to kind of work through um, some of that. We've also um, we're a huge player in the paycheck protection program. Um, we, we were you know, on a, on a per capita bank rate, you know, basis, um, we were one of the largest participants um, and really tried to hope, you know, focus on small businesses within our community um, and even businesses that weren't customers of the bank. We reached out to businesses that a lot of businesses um, were overlooked by their, their existing lending institution and we were able to help them out um, and get those funds so that they could continue to, you know, keep paying their employees um, and making sure that that payroll hits. So yeah, we've we've definitely uh, put kind of a full team effort um, in on on everything COVID related. Well, I know you also helped out a lot of nonprofits too. And um, on behalf of all nonprofits or community, uh, really thank you. Um, our community banks are are very very important part. And um, years and years ago, all banks were heavily invested in their community. Um, that's that's changed a lot, especially the big corporate banks and. Uh, High Plains came in seven years ago into the community and it's just hit the ground running, uh, supporting our local businesses, our local nonprofits. And again, on behalf of local nonprofits, really, really appreciate everything you guys have done on behalf of our community. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, we've, we've definitely stepped up our, our community giving, you know, campaign through all of this, making sure our nonprofits are um, being looked after. And um, we are um, going to be, I, I believe there's a, a virtual uh, swag bag that's going to be handed out with the race um, as part of our giving back to the community and education. And as important as it is to us, we have a, a reading program here at the bank. So all customers um, that are, you know, customers of the bank um, receive membership into the, uh, the reading program, which is essentially a hardbound book 
um, for kids basically from birth to age five. And they can use this for their kids, their grandkids, their neighbor's kids, um, but essentially any customer is eligible to access this program. Um, but for the Sunrise Stampede, we're going to include um, coupons for you to register um, a, a child um, ages, you know, basically birth to five uh, to receive a book um, that they'll receive on a monthly basis. Uh, my daughter receives one, she's three. She loves it every month that she gets a book with her name on it. Um, and they do, I believe it's every other month, it's a bilingual book. Um, so it's just a, it's a great thing. Um, that we're putting out there and uh, we would love for uh, participants in the race to uh, take advantage of that and sign up um, whether it be their kid their grandkid um, you know somebody that might benefit from that uh, that that book a month it's a fantastic idea and we, we appreciate being involved with that virtual um, goodie bag and um, just a reminder everyone again uh, sunrisestampede.org go on um, you have until tomorrow at noon to register let's get out there let's run on behalf of our special needs students in St. Brain and uh, really, again, thank you, Chris, uh, for just joining me today and spending some time talking about uh, the bank and talking about Sunrise Stampede. Um, really appreciate it, as always. Really do. Thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you for every guy, everything you guys are doing, um, keeping the race alive, even in, in sort of a, a virtual kind of do it on your own. I think it's great um, to continue this tradition. And uh, um, yeah, if you haven't gotten your uh, your your passes or your, you know, uh, access to run, um, we certainly would encourage you to go up and sign up before uh, tomorrow's deadline. Agreed. Thank you for that little plug. We appreciate it. SunriseStampede.org. Uh, race registrations are $30, extra $10 for a really cool shirt. Um, also, the first 200 students uh, race are free, uh, thanks to Longmont United Hospital. Uh, we do have some of those available, so get on that quick because the next 24 hours are going to go really, really quick. Uh, so everyone, SunriseStampede.org, hashtag Sunrise Stampede. Good luck to all of our runners over the 6th through the 8th. When you're done racing during that time, uh, there'll be instructions on how to upload your time. And uh, you can use a racing app like Map My Run, and you'll be able to do it really uh, conveniently too. So uh, good luck to all of our partic participants. Again, Chris, thank you so much. And we wish everyone health and wellness over this time. Thank you. Thanks.